Currently, I'm in our live training team's training environments document library. I am the owner of this team, and therefore I am the owner of this SharePoint site and all of the documents in the SharePoint document library. Now, I'm going to use the Manage Access option to show you that this folder here, Transcripts, has a sharing link. So if I come into Manage Access, I can see that I have created a link here where specific people will be able to edit this document. Now, I've shared this with a personal email address of mine. I did not open any of the files in this folder while logged in with that personal email address. I'm going to close this out and now I'm going to look at this monthly training materials folder. I'm going to come in here and go to manage access and I will see the same thing that here I have a link for specific people and they will be able to edit this folder and the documents within it. Again, I have shared this with a personal email address of mine and then I went in while logged in with that personal email address and I opened every file in this folder. So both of these folders, the transcripts folder and the monthly training materials folder have been shared with an external user, but only one of them has been accessed by that external user. That's going to be important information to have in just a moment. So we know that we can manage the access of individual files or folders by using the manage access button. But sometimes we might want to see a list of what's been shared, particularly which of our files or folders have been shared externally or outside of our organization. To do that, we are going to come up here to this little gear icon that represents our settings menu. We are going to click into that and we are going to click site usage. This will take you to a page with your SharePoint site's usage analytics. It's going to have some interesting information about the site and file traffic. But if we go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here, we are going to see this space for what has been shared with external users. So here we see that monthly training materials folder I mentioned earlier. I shared that with a personal email address of mine and I accessed the files within it. These three files we see here are inside of this folder. So all of these have been accessed by an external user. Notice how that transcripts folder that I showed you earlier that was in fact shared with my personal email address is not part of this list. So while this says it is a list of things that have been shared with its external users, that's not quite accurate. This is a list of files and folders that have been both shared and accessed by an external user. Now we can go ahead and run a report by selecting this run report option here. You can select which document library you want to run a report in, and you can even click into a document library to run a report in a specific folder. Once you've made your selection, you're going to go ahead and hit save. Hitting save will run that report. Now, it does take some time to run the report, and how much time it will take will really depend on how many files are saved in that folder. So I'm going to hit cancel here and when the report is ready, you will get an email that looks like this, letting you know your report is ready to be viewed. I'm going to go ahead and click on open here and your report is going to populate in the document library or the folder that you selected to run that report for. So here are some examples right here of what that report might look like. When you open it, it is going to be in view or read only mode. So you are going to have to download it to be able to access editing rights. So I have pulled up here an example of one I have downloaded. You are going to have quite a few columns here to look at. It's not the easiest to read. It's not the easiest to make sense of, but there are a few columns you can focus your attention in on, and that might make it easier for you to see what has been shared. If a file has been accessed by an external user, 
In the column that says user or group type, you will see the word external. So let's scroll down and look for an external shared file here. So here we see the word external and we can even see the email address, the external email address that this folder or file has been shared with. However, this is again only going to work if that file or folder has actually been accessed by that user. If it has not been accessed, it is not going to show up here. However, a little trick we can do here is look at this column that says username and you want to search for the term sharing link. So here we see one and I know this has a sharing link. If we pan across, we can look at the link type. So this example has a sharing link, but it's just shared with my organization. We want to be looking for the phrase specific people. While this doesn't necessarily mean that those specific people are external to your organization, it will at least provide you with the knowledge that this document has been shared with someone specific, and then you can go ahead and go back into the document library, find that file or that folder, and use that manage access option to determine which of those specific people are in your organization and which might be external to your organization. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here because I know I have an external file shared here. And here we see that we've got this transcripts folder here. It has a sharing link here. And if we scroll over, we see that that sharing link exists for specific people. So now I'm gonna head back into my SharePoint document library. I'm gonna find that transcripts folder. Then I can come in here, go to manage access. And yes, I can see that this has a shared link for specific people. I can go ahead and click this arrow and see who those specific people are. And I see that this is an external user. From here, I can decide what action, if any, I want to take. If I want to remove that external user from being able to edit or view this document, I can go ahead and click this X right here and I can remove their access. Now they will no longer be able to access this document. So while this isn't necessarily the perfect solution, this is a good solution for managers and team owners who might not have administrative rights in Teams or SharePoint, but they will still have the ability to access information about which of their files or folders have been shared externally.